Today, I'm gonna to show you how to retouch newborn baby photos. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to retouch the skin of newborns. And when babies happen, <laughs> their skin tends to be a little bit blotchy. It's a little bit of red spots. Also, you get some skin that flakes off. It's a super common thing. And of course, we all want pictures of our little babies after they're, you know, just new just when you bring them home from the store. So I'm gonna show you guys how to retouch those photos and get rid of some of those common issues with skin. So here's our image for today, and you can download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. Now, first thing I wanna do is target our blotchy skin area. Super common thing, but you can see we have just like some dark spots around the image. And instead of trying to go and work on those individually, I wanna do something that's gonna take care of them all at the same time. So I need a way to target those dark areas that's super accurate, and we're gonna be using channels to do so. So let's go over here to our channels, now I'm gonna click on our red channel, green channel, and blue channel. And you're gonna see that basically this represents the color information in the image. So red channel in this case, it's really light colored on the baby's skin because there's a lot of red in the skin. Here in the green channel, you're seeing more, more contrast and in the blue channel as well. So we're gonna choose one of these channels that has a quite a bit of contrast. So the green channel is the one you wanna go with. And you can see there's light areas here and dark areas. So let's go ahead and duplicate the green channel. We're gonna click and drag it down to the new channel icon. Boop, we got a green copy right there, looks good. Now, I wanna enhance this contrast a little bit more because we're gonna turn it into a selection. So we're gonna enhance it using levels. So let's hit Control or Command L for our levels. And really what I wanna do is I wanna make my lights a little bit brighter. And there we go. And we're gonna take our midpoint and just drag this to the right. So. It's gonna look pretty bad here for a second, guys. That's, <laughs> that's okay, it's kind of by design. What we're really trying to do is make sure that we have a nice selection. So you wanna kind of brighten up your highlights a little bit more, which is gonna draw even more attention to those darker areas. So now we have those darker areas. They're just a little bit darker. That looks good. Now we need to turn this into a selection and then we're gonna load that selection into a curves adjustment layer. So to make it a selection, just hit Control or Command and click right here on the channel itself. You can see it's gonna make a selection. Now these selections are super accurate. You may see these little dots around and it may look like it's a hard edge selection, but it's not. It's actually a very soft edge selection. Basically everything that's light is selected and everything that's dark is not selected. Okay, so now back here on our layers, we're gonna go to Layer and down to New Adjustment Layer and I'm gonna go to Curves. Let's hit OK. There we go. Now, it's gonna load, it may look red like this, just click off that layer and then click right back on there. That'll look good. Now, it went ahead and loaded my selection into my layer mask, which is really cool. So if you hold Alt or Option and click on your layer mask, you're gonna see it looks just like our channels looked, okay? So that's what our layer mask looks like now. Okay, so all I have to do is brighten up those areas. So we really just selected our dark areas and now we're going to brighten those areas up. So let's go ahead and click here on our Curves Adjustment Layer, and I'm just gonna click and just brighten these areas up. But you're gonna notice it's actually brightening up the light areas, and that's because when you make a selection with your channels, it selects the light areas. So what I wanna do here is click on my layer mask right here and hit Control or Command I for invert. So Control or Command I is gonna invert that. So just a quick recap, go ahead and make that channel a selection by holding Control or Command and clicking on the thumbnail and then load that into a new adjustment layer. It'll automatically load to the layer mask and then invert the layer mask. That's gonna get you what you need. All right, so now our layer mask looks like this. It's just an inverted version. I know it looks super weird and creepy, but basically the light areas are where this layer is going to be visible. And in this case, we're gonna brighten up those areas. So like here, 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 these are like dark areas in the photos. There are light areas in the layer mask. And now to brighten them up, all I have to do is take my 
curve adjustment layer and click and drag this up and you're gonna see, see it targets just those dark areas. It's not gonna affect my lights at all. It's just targeting those dark areas and I'm just gonna click in and drag them up just a little bit. And right about there is starting to look really good. Now it's gonna vary depending on the photo that you have, but it does a really nice job evening out the skin tone of your newborn. So that's gonna get you most of the way there. Now the next step is gonna help out even out any more skin inconsistencies that you may have. This is really easy to do too. What you're gonna do is create a new layer Go ahead and change your blend mode of that layer from normal down to color, okay? And now, if you do have any color inconsistencies, like here we have like a little red spot, just use your brush tool, hold Alt or Option and sample this area right over here. This is the area that you want, okay? And then just paint it right over there and you're gonna see, just turn that off and on, there we go. So you're basically taking the color from one area and just painting it right over top of another area. So it's a, you can use a large brush here too, that's okay. So it's a really great way to like just get rid of any skin color inconsistencies that you may have in your photo. So just a couple of clicks around here and you're basically just evening out your skin color. So you're sampling the color that you like and then painting over the color that you want to replace. All right, cool. So just a couple of clicks there and we're pretty much done with that step. So you can see just turn that off and on. I'm gonna zoom in to uh, the arm real quick. So let's just turn that off and on and you can see it takes away those skin and color and consistencies. All right guys, we're about halfway there. The next thing we're gonna do is use our spot healing brush tool to take care of some fine details with the skin. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. I'm gonna grab our spot healing brush tool right here and let's just zoom in to areas like the arm and you can see here we've just got some dried skin. So the spot healing brush tool is so cool. Really all you have to do is paint right over top of these areas and they're gonna completely disappear. It's a very smart tool. It looks for areas that are similar in the photo just with a little bit uh, more neutral texture and it replaces the textured areas that you paint over. So literally all you have to do is paint right over top of these areas. All right, let's speed it up. I'll do the rest of the arm. All right guys, there we go. So we just basically went and used the spot healing brush to take care of the little fine details in the skin. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We'll show you the before and the after with that. Just takes away all little crusts and dried skin areas and things like that. All right, and we have a little, little pinky nail here. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna use the spot healing brush tool on this too. We'll just paint right over here. The cool thing about this tool is it actually does do, um, it does content aware. So it's gonna look for any similar areas and it'll even extend lines. It's a really, really cool tool. Uh, it takes care of a lot of blemish removal in Photoshop. So there we go. All right, we're looking really good. Let's go ahead and turn these off so we can see, wow, already a nice change. All right, guys, we're almost done. The last thing I wanna do is add some highlights to the newborn skin. Now, because we brought up the shadow levels, it kind of evened out the skin tone, making it look a little bit flat. And this is just gonna help add a little bit more shape to the skin. So I'm gonna create a new layer. And then with my brush tool, I'm just gonna paint with white right over top of our skin here. So just, you don't have to be very precise at all. Super easy. Just grab a big white paintbrush and paint it in. There we go. And this will work no matter what color skin tone you are working with. Okay, let's double click on this layer and we're gonna use this cool thing called Blend If. It's right over here, you'll see this it says underlying layer. If you can't get to this dialog, you can go down to FX and go to blending options. That'll get you here too. Now, I wanna make this, this layer's just got white on it. Remember we just painted white with a paintbrush. I wanna make it invisible from the dark areas. Okay, so let's hold Alt or Option, and I'm gonna click here and just see you can, there's this little guy here. It looks like one little pointer, but if you hold Alt or Option and click, it separates out into two. So I'm gonna click and drag this from the right to the left, and you're gonna see my layer is disappearing from the dark areas, which is really cool. So this is how Blendif works. It's one of the best tools in Photoshop. So it dis, it's gonna go away from the dark areas, okay? And I'm gonna click and drag this one on behind it too. There we go, looking pretty good. And then let's just change our layer blend mode from normal down to soft light, looking nice. 
and then you can just change your opacity here as well. So it just adds a little bit more light to the skin, just gives it a little bit more form. So there's the before and the after with that. See, just like a nice little glow. And who doesn't like a nice little glow? All right, guys, there we have it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and the after. And let's go ahead and check out some of our details. You can see we made a big difference on areas like the arms and on the face. And that's how we retouch newborns. Thanks so much for watching today's tutorial and hanging out with me. If you love our free tutorials, you're gonna really love Florin Pro. They're like our free tutorials, just way more in depth. We're talking some of our tutorials are like 35 hours long. We cover everything you need to know about things like retouching and compositing, special effects that are awesome. And you guys can save 10% off your Florin Pro membership. Just go to flurn.com slash YouTube. You can use the coupon code YouTube and uh, well, you're just going to learn everything you ever wanted to learn about Photoshop. So who doesn't like that? Thank you so much for watching. I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone. Hey, you watch me do this. Hey, I paint the arm. Come into my workshop. I don't mean you any harm. You can Photoshop with me. I'll Photoshop with you. Have a sip of my coconut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's... didn't turn out the way I wanted it to.